All around the world, people report seeing unidentified flying objects appearing out of nowhere. All of a sudden, this enormous craft just came cruising silently over us. Mysterious objects with pulsating lights. The object had come out from the forest and sort of hover, glowing and pulsing. Strange crafts moving at extraordinary speeds. The red light suddenly made a longitudinal move at a very high rate of speed. I really didn't know what we were dealing with. Some believe we are not alone. I couldn't take my eyes off these two orbs. It felt like something was watching me. Skeptics say there's no evidence of alien life visiting Earth. Look, it's a UFO. It doesn't mean it's an extraterrestrial craft. But for believers, the search continues. We've got an object, 270 North. Two of them in the frame at once. Holy sh Less than 150 kilometers northeast of London in Rendlesham Forest. It's an event that's become known as Britain's Roswell. Like Roswell, the Rendlesham sighting is reported near an American military base. But in this case, witnesses claim to have had a much closer encounter. It starts in the early hours of December 26, 1980, when two groups of servicemen go out to investigate a strange light. They see a strange triangular shaped craft. It looks as if it's either on three legs or hovering. It's about the size of a sports car. It's like nothing that they've ever seen before. Two of the military officers who got close enough to sketch this thing and to even touch the side of it. In the 1990s, investigator Nick Pope led a cold case investigation of the Rendlesham sighting. After a few minutes, the UFO begins to lift slowly off the ground and slowly maneuver its way through the trees uh, at the edge of the clearing. And then as it rises above uh, the, the level of the trees, they see it shoot away to the horizon at immense speed. The next night, the UFO allegedly returns to the forest and is witnessed by another group of servicemen, including Deputy Camp Commander, U.S. Army Colonel Charles Holt. We came out of the forest back here, pursuing the object. The object had come out from the forest after traveling through the trees. We came out here stopped out there in that farmer's field and sort of hovered four, five, six feet off the ground and just sat there glowing and pulsing. We watched it for maybe a minute or two and all of a sudden the object went and exploded silently into five white objects and they immediately disappeared. I think it's gone now. Then suddenly, Another UFO appears. Is it back again? Yes, sir. Let's it is again. We noticed an object to the south displaying bright colors, and they changed shape. It came toward us at high speed, and that's well documented on the tape. It's a strange, small red light. It looks like maybe a quarter to a half mile, maybe further out. Holt describes the UFO moving rapidly across the sky as if performing a grid search. There it is. Hey, I see it too. What is it? We don't know, sir. Silently stopped and sent on some type of a beam that I can best equate to a laser. And then abruptly disappeared. We stood there in awe, wondering what had happened. Thinking, is this a warning? Is this a weapon? What is it? We were just so shocked and surprised by it. It was just overwhelming. While the military gathers evidence at the site, the story hits the press, and multiple theories arise to explain the incident. As soon as you hear this, with any UFO cases, and you have this streaking light, and it lands just over there, 
you've probably got the old meteor phenomenon. In fact, there was a meteor over southern England at that time. Another theory points to a more earthly explanation. Sometime after the event, a local forester put forward the theory that the witnesses might have seen the light from the Orford Ness lighthouse shining mysteriously through the trees, and that might explain the UFO sighting. Strange, small red light. He's looking in a particular area, and he's saying there's a light, and then there's a pause. And that pause is an interval of five seconds, and that is exactly the interval of the Orford Lighthouse 